right, guys, in this exercise, we can identify four cards in a box and they're labeled with the last four letters of the alphabet, W, X, Y, and Z. I'm going to grab that box right now. Okay, inside that box, here are the cards. Four cards. And we have two events in this particular exercise. Event number one is one card is drawn at random and then not replaced. And then another card is drawn at random and not replaced. So this is a compound event, two-stage event. And we can actually represent this in a favorable way. And that is by using a probability tree diagrams. Now let's go through it. We're going to take four simple and straightforward steps. Step number one is I'm going to draw up and show you how to put together a probability tree diagram. Step number two, we're going to identify the favorable outcomes based on the criteria of the question. Step number three, we're going to write out the probability equation. And finally, we're going to slot and substitute those probabilities into the equation and come up with that final answer. So stay tuned. I'm about to show you how to put together that probability tree. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you two ways to come up with the answer from the same exact probability tree. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Let's quickly recap. Here's that probability tree diagram. Now here are the labeled cards W, X, Y, and Z. And then we have the branches going across. So how many cards do we have in the box? All together, there are four cards. So there are one, two, three, four forks at each branch. Then once we take one card out and it's not replaced, we're left with three cards, meaning there are how many forks at each branch? There's one, two, three forks at each branch. So let's look at the criteria of the question. And the criteria up here asks, we're looking for a W and a Y. Now that means, doesn't necessarily mean W then Y, it could mean in any order, it could be a Y or a W. So we're going to look up on here and see what possibilities we can come up with. So let's look for a W and a Y. So a W and a Y would be first a W out of the box and then a Y out of the box. So let's mark that out. Or we could have perhaps a Y first this time and then a W. So let me identify and mark that out. Okay, there are the two possibilities. And remember, again, I'm going to show you two ways of finding the answer from this exact same probability tree diagram. So up here we have a W and a Y. And over here we have a Y followed by a W. Okay, there's our favorable outcomes. As we indicated, we're going to mark up now let's label all the relative fractions of each probability. Since we have one, two, three, four cards, the chance of picking any one of those cards at the first event is what? It's one chance out of four, isn't it? So let's write that up. One out of four. One out of four. Once we pick that one at the second event, what's the chance of picking a card now? It's going to be one chance out of only three as the sample space has shrunk. So let's write that up. One out of three. Okay, there are the branches with the relative fractional probabilities on each one. So now let's write up that probability equation. So we're looking for the probability of W and a Y. So let's write that up first. or the probability this time of a Y followed by a W. Okay, that's our equation. Let's work out each one. So what do we have? Well, we have the first one, which is WY. That's going to be one quarter multiplying one third. So let's write that in. One quarter. Or we could have a Y and a W, a Y, which is one quarter, and a W, which is one third. Okay, let's put the brackets. And of course, let's put that all in between. Right there, we use a plus to represent all. Let's work this out now. A quarter times a third is 
one twelfth and one twelfth altogether gives us two twelfths, which equals a final answer of one chance out of six. Now let me give you the second way of doing this. Because each specific choice and possibility here is one chance out of four, they are all what? All equally likely. Similarly here, they're all equally likely, meaning that we can come up with the same exact answer by looking at the sample space across here. Now if we count all these, there's 12 possibilities in the sample space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Twelve possibilities and the favorable outcomes from the criteria of the question are the W and the Y, which is one, and the Y and the W, which is two. So that again is two chances out of twelve. So that would be two out of twelve, which gives us the same answer, one chance out of six. Grasp your topic faster with more comprehensive examples than anywhere else on the net. Plus, ultra-sharp graphs and diagrams. And vivid maths, just press play and start learning your way.